I have a fond memory of Christmas when I was in first grade. Um, my mom, actually one December day, gave me a mini Christmas tree to put in my bedroom. And I thought it was the coolest thing. I'd never had a Christmas tree in my very own bedroom. And um, late one night, when I was supposed to be asleep, I snuck out of bed, walked over to my tree, and laid down on the floor, and stuck my head under the tree and looked up. And what I saw was this forest of pine needles uh, with little pockets of colored lights all the way up. And it was this experience of like magic and wonder and awe. And I was just, I remember it to this day and I'll never forget it. To be honest though, Christmas now is way less magical than I remember as a kid. And I think that's for a lot of different reasons, but it just seems as we get into adulthood, we really lose a lot of our childlike wonder. Of course, growing up and maturing is a good thing, but sometimes I wonder if we have a false sense of what it means to be an adult. We can get wrapped up in scarcity, the concept of never enough, never good enough, never smart enough, never rich enough, and on and on. And it creates this snowball effect that just makes us more and more anxious as we grow up. When we were on our mission trip this past August, uh, we were both surprised at how at ease we felt in a completely foreign place. And it helped that our meals and transportation were taken care of. But beyond that, the, the trip really forced us into living in the present. Uh, we didn't waste time being anxious about the past or the future. We were free to just be in the moment um, and to, to serve those right in front of us. And to be honest, it was like being a child again, and we loved it. I'm a pharmacist, but I don't work in a traditional role dispensing medications, and I definitely don't know any Spanish. Um, on the mission trip, I was tasked with setting up the pharmacy. So I helped to figure out what medications we needed, and then of course I was the one who was dispensing medications to the patients. And even though, of course, I'm a pharmacist, um, I haven't done that type of work in a while, so normally that would have given me a lot of anxiety. But there I was, driving through um, a very unfamiliar city with people that I had just met, um, going to all these local pharmacies, trying to strike deals, uh, speaking the language that I had no idea what I was saying, um, and then uh, serving these people that I had never met. Um, and it was a truly wonderful experience. And um, both of us just, it was kind of an odd experience in a way because we both felt just very familiar. Everything felt very familiar and natural, um, which was something we hadn't really experienced much before. So we recently read a quote from a friend who writes and speaks about this idea of wonder. Um, and he said, to be in the presence of a truly wonderful thing is to feel as if you're seeing a familiar thing for the very first time. And I think this is what I've been chasing since my youth. These moments of beauty that capture me in such a way that I completely forget about the anxieties of the past or the future. The holidays, and specifically for us Christmas time, is this unique opportunity in our yearly schedules to be childlike again. Um, to kind of get lost in the wonder of the season and to just be held captive by our imaginations. The more we understand and learn about beauty in our own lives, um, I think the more we start to realize that our mission is to help bring that moment of wonder to others. And that's one of the reasons why we decorate our house so much around this time of year. So a thought we'd like to leave you with is this. Stress and anxiety can rob you of your happiness in your daily life. And it can make you feel like you're constantly trying to escape today for a better tomorrow. Recapturing a childlike wonder in your own heart doesn't mean being immature. It's just allowing yourself to get caught up in a beautiful moment with others, to be vulnerable. And you don't have to wait for the next holiday season to give it a try. It just might be a good challenge for the new year. So from the two of us, a late Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year.